Hey y'all, welcome to this. So today I want to talk about a movie that I went and saw a few weeks ago called Loon. It is an independent film that was made here in Minnesota, Northwest Minnesota more specifically. And it was made by Charles and Kale Eikhoff who are native to Crookston, Minnesota, which is also my hometown. And all of the cast is also from Minnesota. Some from Crookston, the rest from various other areas. And right off the bat, that was so fun to see in this film is just all the familiar faces. I really liked that. So I had a lot of fun being like, I know that guy, <laughs> I know that person. <laughs> like we went to high school together, you know, of being that person. So the film is based somewhere in Minnesota on a lake and it is a peaceful lake, you know, for the most part until loons start attacking people and killing people. And if you don't know, the loon is the Minnesota state bird. And so when I heard about this movie, I got really excited about it because I love loons. I think that they are a wonderful bird, but I thought it was funny because I have this idea of loons being vicious <laughs> or, or being territorial. And that's because I used to work at a camp in Minnesota where, um, it was a very small lake that the camp was on and there was you know this loon couple that would come and i remember seeing them on the lake living their lives and they would have a baby or two and they would tell me they were like watch out for those loons they um because this lake is so small they've become very territorial and they will bite you and <laughs> and part of me believed them and we kind of made it a whole thing that, you know, we wouldn't say to the kids at the camp, but if we were just swimming in the lake and we would see a loon close by because the lake was so small that they could they could get pretty close to you. And if we saw them like dip under the water, we would be like, oh my gosh, get out of the water, they're gonna bite you. So that's always been kind of an idea in the back of my head that loons can be vicious. So when I saw that this movie had been made by Minnesotans, I was just like, is this a, is this a thought that other people have had, that loons are vicious? Now it makes me curious if they can be or if, you know, there's something behind that. But yeah, kind of connecting it to vicious birds, um, one of the first things I thought while watching this movie was the birds, Alfred Hitchcock, you know? And through further research, I saw that Kale and Charles actually were inspired by Hitchcock, um, while making this so that's cool i think that that inspiration that they had from the birds really comes through in this work and another film i thought of right away while watching this would be sharknado if you're into sharknado or any films like that you're definitely going to like loon horror comedy all the way kind of goofy um ultimately a really fun time i have to say i laughed a lot and I was really getting into it. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> I wouldn't really call this video a critique. You know, I'm not really here to do that. But if I wanna make one critique of the film is that I wish that the characters had stronger relationships with each other. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of kills in the film, which were all really fun and cool. But a lot of them were people that we didn't really know. A lot of them were just random people um, that we meet and then they get killed off right away. I think it, it works to a point, but I think that there was some moments where they could have killed off some of the more important characters, such as um, Anna Huck's character. Excuse me while I forget people's names. So I'm just gonna call them by their actual names. <laughs> she has a sister and she's, the sister's more of like a side character, but you see them have a bit of a, you know, a, a sisterly banter, a relationship there. And I think that they could have probably killed off that sister. And that would have been so much more impactful for us as an audience, but also for Anna's character, because part of her character journey is the fact that she helps defeat the loons in the end. So. I think that that like killing off her sister or somebody important in her life would have um, given her more of that 
call to action to help. Um, and another thing is the lead character that we see that's played by Charles Ikoff himself. The reason why he is on this journey of trying to defeat the loons is because he works for the lake and for the people and he wants to keep everybody safe. That's all well and good, but I think that it could have been driven more if, yes, he had stronger connections with people, such as with Anna's character. You kind of see um, at the beginning there's a little bit of like a romantic spark that could possibly be there, but I feel like it was only um, touched upon a little bit. And who doesn't love a good little bit of romance to fuel some killing of loons? You know, I think that they could have grew their relationship, even if it didn't go completely romantic. It could have went more like, we've just gotten to know each other better and cared about each other. And that could have driven maybe Charles's character to do more and Anna's character too. Just a thought. That's my opinion. I think that it could have just maybe made the story stronger and made me connect with the characters more and be even more invested in the story. Overall, I thought the movie was a blast. Like I said, it's funny. I enjoy the gore. There's beautiful shots of Minnesota lakes and it really just feels like a little bit of like a love letter to Minnesota lake country, which I can appreciate. So yeah, that's that's about it. I didn't I didn't want to stay here and, you know, analyze this whole film. I just wanted to more so hype up the fact that this is a really cool Minnesota made and based film. I love that it's local Minnesota film made by people from my hometown. Like that's so cool. And I would love to see more of it, not gonna lie. But yeah, I will link down below um, the Loon movie website, trailer, anything else I can think of to give you more information of this movie. They've been showing it at a lot of local theaters and who knows where else they're gonna show it. There's talks of it being put on streaming services, which would be super cool. Could make it even more accessible for people to watch. Um, so hopefully we'll see that in the future. Also on the website, you can buy Loon merch. That's a cool way to support them too, I'm sure is by buying a cool shirt or a cool hat. Cause this is nice, it's like embroidered and everything and it's fleece lined, so it's nice and warm. I dig it. Yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of me talking about film, let me know. This is kind of something that I like to do. Like, subscribe if you want to, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!